guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel guys hit that subscribe button and join my journey if you're back thank you so much for your support i am loving every bit of it um so as you guys can read in my title i'm going to be doing a finally doing a q a i think this is the video i've kind of been delaying the most i know people do this video a lot i actually haven't been i actually haven't done this video which was actually one of the videos i wanted to do first but i always had things coming up and i kind of kept pushing this one aside so i'm finally doing it i did get some of these questions from instagram and also on snapchat there are quite a few a lot of them were repeated guys so i obviously gonna answer it once and not more than once and i did pick a few i had quite a lot but i thought i didn't but then when i put them all together there was quite a lot so yes let's head straight into the video guys please do not mind me i am not that dressed up today i just um put on you know baggy t-shirt i think i've showed this from shein and i'm wearing cycling shorts so yeah i just put any bits and bobs hair has been done since yesterday so yeah please do not mind that let's head straight to the question so but question number one who will stay with flash if you and even split up Hopefully me and Evan won't split up, but if me and Evan were to split up, I would probably say me, and the reason why I would say I would stay with Flash is because if I move out, obviously I'm going to go to my parents' house, my parents got a garden front and back, and I just feel like Flash would feel much more comfortable and happy there, if that makes any sense, but you know, we'll probably have to share him here and there, I guess a lot of people do that, so you know. Who knows, but hopefully that won't happen. Question number two, what's the worst part about planning a wedding? I actually got that as a question and I also got what's the most stressful part of planning a wedding. So I'm going to kind of link them together. I think the worst part about planning a wedding is that my wedding's abroad and a planning a wedding abroad can be quite tricky when you're not in the country. Um, the emailing, the responding, the deposits, all that has a very big impact so quick advice is if obviously if you're having a wedding abroad make sure you've got a um sort of online banking going on system there because it can get very stressful that part and also maybe pray that you don't get covid and that messes up all your plans because clearly i was going to go this august to plan a lot of my wedding but covid showed up so that means i am not able to go unfortunately for many reasons but fingers crossed god has a plan guys god has a plan and that's how i think and yeah i don't like to, to think about it too much but that's probably the worst the most stressful part i don't most stressful part has to be bridesmaids and groomsmen now this is why a lot of people are thinking oh but why why is that stressful the reason why it's stressful guys is not even the fact of like some people have um groomsmen and bridesmen but don't really involve them much in the wedding that's what i've like kind of realized like a lot of people are just like oh just wear the dress and just be there on the day with me and ivan our groomsmen and bridesmaids actually are doing a lot um don't want to say too much of what they're doing because obviously a lot of it's gonna be a surprise but they're actually involved a lot and i really like to ask my girls for their opinion i feel like that's why you have um that's why you have and choose to have bridesmaids if you choose to have bridesmaids just to look good in the pictures there's no point having them i have them more because i want them to take a good part in my wedding i want them to have fun but also like help me out on the process i think that's why you have bridesmaids and that's the whole point so that definitely has to be stressful meeting up of all of them because uh, all together they're 16 so it's eight on each side so it's it, it's it, it's stressful okay let's put it that way it's very very stressful um but um you know bit by bit we're getting there and yeah everything's gonna be okay hopefully and thankfully question number i think this is like question number two three the other one i don't know it's two together so next question is how do you edit your videos guys iMovie I do want to get Final Pro, I think that's what it's called. I do want to get it, guys. But financially, I've got a wedding next year and I can't just be spending £300 or £400, whatever, how much it is, just like that. I know, like, I have a lot of people telling me, oh, just save £20 here, save £50 there. I get it, but 
right now physically i don't feel like i need it so so much i want it don't get me wrong but do i need it you know i've always did say though that if i did get to 500 subscribers i would get the um the um, edit um the the, the thing yeah the <laughs> video edit um that i wanted to get but um i don't want to put myself in that sort of pressure so you know what whatever's meant to be will be i do want to get it but if i do i need it right now the answer is no so yeah i've just been using iMovie pretty much been learning a lot seeing other people's youtube channels and stuff how to add things because iMovie can be quite tricky when you want to add like a writing and text and stuff but as i said you know everything will come with its time i believe in that so yeah that's what i've been using guys so nothing special um next question is your favorite memory of all times i have so many memories guys i don't think i have like the best best one i will probably say this is my best memory just because um it's something that you know touched me and are very sentimental to me it's probably seeing my goddaughter be born um i don't know i was it was a beautiful moment i had been um to a labor before that my godmother had my youngest cousin daniela and I actually saw her being born as well but you know my niece it's 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 a different sort of bond i would say and you know see my sister like how strong she was and things like that um i don't know i think it was it was really nice experience for me and a loving memory because me and my mom talk about it a lot and yeah i'll probably say that i don't really know if that's classifying one of my all-time memories but honestly guys i have so many i could go on forever so let's skip that <laughs> um your favorite me holiday memory gosh guys again i have so so many but i'm not gonna lie and the holiday i think about a lot a lot was the first holiday i went with ivan and the reason why i say it's the first time i met his family and he met my family because that was the first time i've ever done that so like i've had boyfriends before and they've met my family here but i physically never had them on holidays with me so having ivan there and like him meeting my family and me meeting his was really super nice um that memory goes down with me a lot and the next question is if flash dies would you get another dog um me and Ivan have always said i'm not gonna lie guys before having flash i did not really want dogs because i just feel like it's very unfair having a dog locked up in a flat i've never like really liked that idea but you know um then we got flash it helped even through some really really tough times so yeah we got flash and i don't think obviously if i'm to get a dog he will never be like flash but will i get another dog like flash of the same breed i don't think so um flash has too much energy i love him to bits don't get me wrong I, it's a bond that i can't even explain like the love you have for a pet honestly like only pet owners i think would know but the bond you have guys it's it's mad like i know a lot of people i never understood it before having a dog and i never thought i would have that bond but guys i do i have an incredible bond i'm always worried about him it's like having a kid honestly actually i don't know what it is to have a kid but like even my mom says and my mom's got nieces and stuff like she loves him loads as well like it's just it's just strange but yes we will get another dog me and even dream is to actually have a german shepherd and a labrador but obviously not in a flat so that would not happen i would not have a big dog in a flat but yeah guys um that's basically it but yeah we i probably will get another dog and it'll probably be a labrador girl and a german shepherd boy so yeah <laughs> um next question is what are you grateful for i am grateful for everything i have guys for everything honestly i'm not even joking like you guys think i'm kidding but i'm not every time i every time every time every time like i get a, for example a subscriber guys do you know how happy and how much i pray to god saying thank you i'm not even joking people will be like oh you're exaggerating i'm not like i actually ain't even like at night when i go to bed i'm like thank god so so much like when i first started this youtube channel i'm just basing this on youtube because you know this is my journey and i want to show you guys so like when i first started youtube and um like i i was looking at my subscribers and like obviously they go like one or two up or three up you think to yourself how the hell am i ever gonna get to 100 and now i'm like nearly in 300 like how how did that happen like, i know a lot of people are like oh but a lot of people can think oh but the growth is not quick i do not care if the growth is quick or not like i'm just so grateful for all the support and love like the amount of messages i get 
on a daily basis from people saying i love your videos like you're so like you inspire me like all these stuff like really really means a lot to me because the little subscribers i've got i've got a bond with them and that's what i'm really really happy about because then people can see my journey growing and that's what you really want you really want to connect with your subscribers and your viewers and that's what i want so i'm super happy with that and if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you subscribe <laughs> but yeah i'm grateful for everything guys i'm a very 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 grateful person and I'm just happy with everything to be fair obviously I have my days where I'm grumpy and moody we all do but I am very very grateful and regardless of what happens during the day I always thank God and I always pray if you not have seen the 10 facts about me head over and you can see that's one of my facts I pray every single night thanking God for everything that I got so yeah <laughs> so let's head to the next question which is who's your favorite niece I don't know who sent me this question but I don't have a favourite niece, I love them both to pieces, like to pieces, I would die for those two girls, I love them with all my heart, like I'd do anything for them, they're beautiful, they're amazing, they're strong, they're, they're stunning, they're, I'm so proud of them, my oldest niece is not going to secondary school, she's growing up, <laughs> and my god to her she's going to year one guys like i don't even know where time goes like soon she's leaving she's bloody leaving um secondary school she's going uni the other one's going to secondary school like it makes me feel super old as well like where has time gone but yeah i love them two to pieces and none of them are my favorite they're both the loves of my lives and yeah so next question who, who is your family oh i'm reading this completely wrong guys oh my gosh who in your family do you tell your secrets um i don't really keep secrets guys like i don't know if that's a weird thing but i actually do not keep secret guys but if i do have a secret to tell or something i want to say but i don't want to tell everyone yet and da -da -da -da, i do go straight away to my sisters i think that's obviously i tell stuff to ivan but like apart from ivan i just go to my sisters even my mum, I will tell her a few bits and bobs, even though my mum will probably like the first one to tell somebody. But um, if I do ask her, like, don't say it, she keeps it a secret. So, yeah, I probably think those are the ones that I will go to because we're quite close and we have quite a good bond. So, yeah, I'll probably go for them. Next question is, how many family members do you have? Listen, I don't even know. I don't even know. I do not know. Like, if I told you guys there's family members that I've met once in my life, you guys would be shocked. I'm not even joking. From my dad's side, I feel like there's cousins that I haven't even met. Like, cousins of cousins that I haven't even met. Because from my dad's side, I wouldn't say I'm the youngest. I'm not the youngest. But I'm definitely down the younger scale. Or just in between. I don't even know. But I think I'm in probably in the youngest one. So, And obviously all my dad's family is in Portugal. And then when we go there, we don't spend too much time at my dad's side. So when we're there, everyone's working or everyone's in different sides of Portugal. So like one's Lisbon, one is in Porto. So yeah, there's a lot going on. So um, I don't really know how many, like I, I've lost count guys. Like we've got additions coming every year. So I don't know. All I know is my mum and my dad have loads of brothers and sisters. That's all I know. And again, if you want to know, head to see my 10 facts about me. And you will know that's one of my facts i've got a huge family next question oh next question what made you finally start a youtube channel i don't even know oh covid i'll probably blame it on covid i'm gonna blame everything on covid because <laughs> um i had the time i had the time to stop and think what I really wanted because that's another thing that we forget we spend so much time spending time in our jobs spending time you know doing things for others that we actually forget to stop and think about what we want and when Covid happened it made me really think what I really really wanted and yeah that's how I actually started YouTube and yeah I just I've always had this dream this was always a little dream on the side that I've always wanted to do and I don't know why I've never done it. And I could have like done it ages ago. And God knows where I would have been so far. But I still, I even remember, I think it was like a year ago, me and my cousins, we all actually went to um, Harvest Stuff. And that's what it's called, to eat. And we were all sitting there and we were just chatting about starting a YouTube channel. I was even going to start one with my cousin, Anna. 
but I didn't get to. And we was always saying like, yeah, we're gonna start it. Like we had so many ideas, but we just never put it into practice. And I think along the way, a lot of things happen as well. Like if it's not one thing, it's another. If it's not another, it's another. Like I know it's excuses sometimes and we make time for what we want, but it wasn't a priority in my life, let's put it that way. And then COVID made me stop made me you know focus and made me think a little bit about what I wanted to do and wanted to achieve and now here I am nearly in 300 subscribers in I think I started in May June July in three months so that's really really good for me makes me feel super proud so yeah next question if you could change something about your life what would it be <sighs> guys that one's a deep one I don't know what would I change about my life if I could change something right, right now, like right now, it would probably be living in a house with a massive garden. Like, that's one thing that I love going to Spain. Like, in the past two years, every time we've gone to Spain, even obviously, who doesn't know, we'll get to know now, even um, has, and his parents have a house out there and it's got this massive garden. And in the morning we wake up and we just go outside and we just breathe in that air and, oh, it's just so nice like and I kind of miss it because I'm at that when I used to live at my mum's it wasn't a massive garden but you always had that like outdoor breathing air like in a flat it's just who lives in a flat knows it's 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 not my flat is not dull it's actually very very bright guys which I'm really happy about that but it's just not the same like it's not the same you know feeling but that's something I'll probably change right now like right right now it's that and what else would I change nothing really guys i'm i think i'm a big strong believer that you're meant to be where you're meant to be at the right time so yeah i don't think i would change anything um yeah that's it <laughs> next a question what's your dream job so i've always said my dream 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 job that i wanted when i was in school was definitely i wanted to go to performing arts guys I wanted to do anything to do with dancing, drama, music, like I, I wanted all of that. Unfortunately, because of a lot of bumps down the road, I could not follow that. Um, one, because my dad got sick and my family financially wasn't really stable. Um, so I had to think of something where I could work and study. Um, and then had to take a year off college uh, because of helping to look after my dad. And then after that, I just always worked and studied all the qualifications I've got now. I've always worked through them. So life never really took me down that path. But I found another amazing passion, which is working with kids. I love, love, love it, guys. It's stressful. It's very tiring physically, mentally, every way possible. But it's so fulfilling that, you know, when you come home, you're tired, but you feel so it's the little things you know the little they know your name or they call you miss those little things that really really impact you so yeah my dream job has always been to work in a school i've always wanted to do that um i don't cur currently do that now but that's my dream job to work in a school um with children and just grow my way up from there so yeah guys let's see how that goes <laughs> um my final and last question is how do you keep your relationship with your sisters so strong hmm how do i keep my do you know what guys i think me and my sisters keep our relationship so strong because we're so truthful to each other and some people might say oh that's a bit harsh but i feel like when we know someone's done something wrong or we don't agree with them we told them straight away if that makes sense maybe for some people it doesn't work but for me and my sisters it works um, if I have a problem, I'll tell them straight away. If they have a problem, they tell me straight away. So that's how we kind of go. Also as well, we're three sisters, three girls. We are four years apart exact from each one, except me and my older sister, we're eight. But like my mum had us four years, four years, four years. So um, yeah, and to be fair, our main circle of friends have been the same for many, many years because they're family friends probably that's why as well but also um my dad and my mom keep us really really strong because for my mom and my dad our relationship of sisters are really important so maybe that's another thing as well and we have a lot of the same likes as well i would say 100 percent because you know you sometimes you meet like siblings that are really different in likes and stuff like that but we're kind of the same so yeah i think that's how we keep it strong we're just real to each other we tell it how it is and i think that's the way we've always been and that's the way we're always going to be so
so yes that is the last question guys that's all the questions people give it have given me some of them as i said were very very similar and very very repeated so i didn't say all of them there were quite a few so yeah thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you guys would like me to do a q a with mr ivan or even with my sisters that might be a good one leave it down below which one you guys would like to see if you've watched until now and yeah guys i'll see you beautiful people in my next video bye guys